This drink originally focused on the fact that Ichthyo Venator means fish hunter, involving some gummy fish, and then, because of the toy's colors, evolved into something significantly more Halloween. Feel free to add those gummy fish, though, and make this drink your own. I'd love to see your take on it. Hello! Today on Thirsty Thursday Toys, we've got the Roar Striker Ichthyo Venator, a boozy candy apple punch, and bonus, some Jurassic Halloween cups. To make the Thirsty Thursday Toys Candy Apple Punch, you'll need some green apple liqueur, a butterscotch liqueur, blue curacao, and apple cider. Now, careful with this one. On one hand, it has five parts of alcohol, but on the other hand, they're only about 15% ABV apiece, so this drink has the equivalent of maybe two shots of vodka. It's super sweet and goes down easy, so just be aware of how much you're consuming. I'm gonna start by adding some ice to my glass or other drink vessel. Then I'm gonna add one part of a blue curacao, Add in two parts of that green apple liqueur. Two more parts of a butterscotch liqueur. And then finish that off with four parts of an apple cider and stir it all together. If the drink is a little much, you can just cut the recipe in half. If you're making this punch for a party, simply scale up the recipe, use cups instead of ounces, and stick it in your punch bowl. Otherwise, enjoy. Cheers. Now I was trying to cut back on figures that didn't appear on screen, but I'm a sucker for lime greens, shades of teal, and anything adjacently related to the baryonics. So here we are with the Jurassic World Dominion Roar Strikers Ichthyo Venator. I got this one for around 17 bucks at Target, and while I'm going to list a lot of nitpicks about it, I can also overlook them due to its color scheme, and holy crap, how often do you see Ichthyo Venator figures? This Spinosaurid, like the other dinos in the toy line, require the tail to be popped on. Once it's in, it's not coming back out, but it can rotate around. Now, nitpick number one, the tail is too short. I've said that with almost every Mattel figure thus far, and I don't think that's going to change. Either I have a skewed view on how long these tails should be, or Mattel just sucks at them. Or a little bit of both. For the rest of the articulation, you have a couple of joints here in the shoulders, some locking joints in the legs with a pretty decent range of rotation, and the action feature. When you push down on the back, the neck moves and the mouth closes, plus you can rotate through at least three different roars. You can also just push the head down and get the same effects. Which leads me to nitpick two. The mouth can't stay closed. The only way to close it is to either use the action feature or to get a clear rubber band. Jaw articulation on dinos is super important to me. I could scrap all the other gimmicks and most other points of articulation just for that. Now, I do love how it's sculpted to allow those teeth to interact with the jaw. The upper rows of teeth fit around the lower jaw, and those front teeth fit perfectly in the grooves in the upper jaw. Very crocodilian, I love it. But, nitpick three, it can't stay closed, which means that for 99% of the time, you have this weirdly gapped nose part that makes it look almost like a, a troll or something. I hate it. Like the other Dominion figures, it has the DNA scan code cleverly hidden in this back section. It doesn't get in the way of anything, and it isn't obvious. What is obvious is nitpick four, the change of color between the main body and the tail. The colors are freaking fantastic. I love how you have some of the lime on the face and the teal back here that really makes it cohesive. And they tried to give a little bit of a transition here with this lime green spray, but it's definitely not enough. It's still super jarring. Either a longer transition of color or a brighter lime that actually matches the color of the plastic on the tail. It's so bad that it took me this long to realize that the color of the lower jaw shows up nowhere else on the figure. And yeah, I'm aware that this is a kid's toy and I'm not the target market, but the odds of getting this in the Hammond collection are slim, so this'll have to do. There's always the collective figure, and maybe we'll see something from Safari or Papo in the future. Either way, this creature fits right in with my Halloween decorations, along with these cups. These 25 ounce plastic cups were sold at Target in their Halloween 2022 section as a four pack for 10 bucks. Each one comes with a matching straw and a black lid. This one is my favorite, not just because it's lime green, but because it has this sweet JP logo and spiderweb design with these amber chunks that have spiders in them instead of mosquitoes. It's genius and I love it. The other three designs are very similar to one another, featuring phrases on one side and carved pumpkins on the other. You've got Happy Halloween with some herbivores, warning sharp teeth for the raptors, and tricker teeth for the T-Rex, with all three featuring some pteranodon silhouettes. Display them with your Halloween decor, drink out of them at your party, keep your minifigures in them, they're pretty useful. Either way, I want to thank you for watching and subscribing and liking and all those things you do that help out the channel, wish you good luck on your hunt, and remind you to please drink responsibly. Happy Halloween!